Imagine a rocket lifting off with the power of 33 engines, each one producing hundreds of tons of thrust. How do you keep something that powerful from veering off course? The answer is thrust vector control, or simply engine gimbling. Today, we'll explore how SpaceX controls the Raptor engine's movement using actuators, both hydraulic and electric, and why this matters for the future of space travel. To understand actuators, we first need to understand thrust vector control, or TVC. A rocket can't just turn like an airplane using wings or rudders. In the vacuum of space, there's no air to push against. Instead, rockets change direction by literally swiveling their engines. When an engine nozzle tilts just a few degrees, the thrust changes direction, and that redirects the rocket's path. This engine movement is called gimbling. And to gimbal an engine, you need actuators, the mechanical systems that actually push or pull the nozzle. In Falcon 9, SpaceX uses hydraulic actuators to move the Merlin engines. Hydraulic actuators work just like the pistons in heavy machinery or airplanes. They use pressurized fluid inside cylinders. When that fluid is pumped in, the piston extends or retracts, creating massive force. This force is then used to tilt the rocket nozzle. The advantage of hydraulics is raw strength. They can move heavy components with precision and resist extreme loads. But there are drawbacks. Hydraulic systems are heavy. They require pumps, tanks, fluid lines, and filters. And if the system leaks or fails, it can be catastrophic. That's why SpaceX began to look for an alternative when developing Starship. Enter electric actuators. Instead of pressurized fluid, electric actuators rely on powerful motors, gears, and screw mechanisms. When a motor turns, it converts that rotation into linear motion, effectively pushing or pulling the nozzle. Electric actuators are much cleaner, no pumps, no leaking fluid, and they're lighter, which is extremely important when you're launching a giant spacecraft into orbit. But the real advantage is responsiveness. Electric systems can react faster and can be programmed more precisely. They're controlled directly by software, allowing smoother adjustments in fractions of a second. For a rocket like Starship, which uses 33 Raptor engines in its booster, this responsiveness is critical. Imagine trying to control 33 hydraulic systems with pumps and fluid lines. The complexity would be overwhelming. Electric actuators simplify that problem dramatically. Now, let's talk scale. Controlling one engine with an actuator is manageable. Controlling 33 engines simultaneously, all moving in harmony, is one of the hardest challenges in rocketry. Each Raptor engine needs to move independently, but also in coordination with the rest. If the rocket tilts to one side, some engines must gimbal left, some right, some stay neutral, all calculated and adjusted in real time, dozens of times per second. With electric actuators, software algorithms can handle this balancing act more effectively. They provide millisecond-level corrections, ensuring that even if one engine underperforms, the rocket can stay stable. One of the biggest concerns in rocketry is reliability. What happens if an actuator fails mid-flight? With hydraulics, redundancy is tricky. Pumps and lines are interconnected, so a failure can affect the whole system. With electric actuators, each motor is self-contained. If one fails, the others can compensate almost instantly. This built-in redundancy is essential for Starship. With so many engines, the chances of one actuator misbehaving are higher, but electric systems give the rocket resilience. The software simply recalculates and redistributes control to the remaining actuators. So how does SpaceX control the gimbal movement of its engines? Falcon 9 relies on hydraulics, strong, proven, but complex. 
Starship's Raptor engines are shifting to electric actuators, lighter, faster, and more reliable. This evolution in actuator technology is a critical step toward building a fully reusable rocket system that can safely carry humans to Mars and beyond. The next time you see Starship ignite and lift off, remember, behind the flames, there's a symphony of actuators quietly steering one of the most powerful machines ever built. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into SpaceX's actuator technology, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Rocket Science Explained.